what's up, YouTube? What you doing there, Chris? Just breaking this down the rest of the way. Gotcha. So we could take it to Kowalski's. I took off the water pump, oil pump, and everything here. Mm-hmm. Um, look, we got something uh, nice there. June. June Machine Shop. So, yeah, we're just... Uh, Breaking this thing down? This off. I don't know if I'll take this off or not. I think I'll leave that in there. And this, too. If Jason needs to take it off at Kowalski's, he can. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll take this off here. And this piece here, maybe. Because what they'll do is they'll hot tank it. Uh -huh. And then he'll test it and make sure it's uh, flat. Basically okay. right here. True. And if it's not... Then they'll deck it. Take a layer off, yeah. We'll deck yeah. it. So decking the block is when he machines basically a thin layer right off here. And make sure that it's true and flat. Mm, gotcha. I would recommend. Cool. Yeah, just take that whole thing, right? And then once it's in the truck, then, then you can take it off. Word. You guys, need a hand? Uh, hopefully not. Hopefully, you can just. Y'all boys are so strong. Hmm? Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> that shouldn't be in there. Shark what is that? Look at, look at the edge on that thing. Shoo! <laughs> all right, so I'm headed up to Kowalski's to drop off the block that's back there. It's already at the side over there at the door. Let's go get her unloaded, bud. It was mega dodge. That's cool as shit. It is. All right, there she is. What we got here, Chris? RB27. RB27. <laughs> RB26. RB26. Bored out. Bored out. Always got the cranks going. Yeah. 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 I didn't. I didn't want to mess with that. I figured. Leave it to the professionals. We'll take Probably care. take two people. Yeah. So when, uh, when we get the uh, hand trucks, we can roll it. We'll sit right on that. Oh, shit. JC's like, screw this. I'm just carrying it in here. He just wants to show off for the camera. Yeah, absolutely. There we go. <laughs> there it is. It's not the. Woo. Yeah, we're going to check the crankshaft, check everything out, and make sure it's going to be a. In the yep, just make sure we can put it back together. Yeah, we'll and get a hot tank, get it cleaned up. Alright. Put the sewing walls on it. See if it needs decking. New brace plugs. Yeah, definitely. The typical. Just like so just whatever you need to order, please, you know, order. Like, just get the main bearings or freeze plugs or whatever you need to get that back to me so I could just start putting it back together. Ooh, ooh, what do you got over here? Oh, that's the Axe Man Timmy. Put a little bit bigger cylinder heads on it. So this is the intake manifold that he was currently running. Okay. And the intake runner entry at the head is a little bit larger than the port on the intake. So we took and scribed it, and we're going to take and uh, hopefully port match it out. May have to add a little weld at the bottom so we don't get it too thin. But All right, so you mark it with this yeah. stuff, and then that shows you where the yeah. edge is. That yeah, the runner's not much wider, but the runner's... Port. Uh, just taller. It's just a bigger runner. Okay. It's a better flow. It's got bigger intake and exhaust valves in it. So, so the heads that he's going with now are larger. bigger, yeah. larger, larger port. Intake. Okay. But what about your intake? How's that fit on there? That actually fits on there pretty good because that's made for the larger the, head. Those larger heads and the 
same deck height block he has. Because I have the same combination we're doing for my car. So right now you're just going to modify this one to, yes, to flow some, good enough. Yeah, to do some testing and to get the car running. And, okay, and we cool. really like the, uh, then we may end up making another manifold for it. So this is Larry Roach's The Axe Man on No Prep Kings. Speed yeah. Outlaw. No he's, on, he's on TV right now. On Discovery. Check this out. This is just... Beautiful, ain't it? Yeah. I would just have this, like, hanging on the wall. Here we are back in Mexico, doing a little filming. <laughs> Mexico. Yeah, Mexico. Yep. Arriba. Arriba. <laughs> Tell him to drive it like you stole it. Tevin says once you get turned around to drive it like you stole it around this corner. Coming. Says we got incoming. I don't know if that's a car or him. get on this side so I don't get in the shot. <laughs> Damn boys! <laughs> that was sick, right? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're just heading back. Try to get some rollers. Well, Devontae's gonna get some, uh, some shots. We can try to find somewhere to get some duty shots. Not sure what type of look we're going for, but we'll figure it out. Just on that one turn where I was coming this way and it was a sharp left right there, right. it just started washing out a little bit, pushing over. I was like, oh. <laughs> it was, oh no, it was, MR problems, MR <laughs> problems. Well, you know. They're prone to a, a little bit of snap oversteer if you try to. It's true. It, it's understeering. You're oversteering the wheel. It's understeering, and then all of a sudden, it'll snap out. Yep. On you. Just snap. Yep. So, but this is a '93, and they actually have the updated rear suspension. And I got you. So it's supposed to be a little better. That's good. That's good to know. You push it a little bit harder. <laughs> Let me tilt that a little for you. Yeah, pull it forward. Or like that, kind of. Yeah, that's perfect. trying to get this audio right. Alright, give me a rib. One more time. Seems pretty good. Tevin and Devontae are down there by the SEMA getting their other shots. We, it, it's cold out there. It, so, it's cold. Tevin said, hey, someone needs to watch the video because we're going to drop it soon. And we were like, okay, we'll go sit in the truck and watch the video. With the heat on. Yes, the heat is on <laughs> blast. What's up, guys? We're back again. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a little run through on how we do the cars, uh, what we do to them. Um, so first off, the brackets. Any brackets that are painted or bad looking, we'll go through and paint all those. So like if you look here, these ones, this is how it looks factory. But see how it starts to rust up like that? 
we don't want to send a car out like that. So we're going to take these off, paint them up. Uh, we'll probably paint this too. Um, I'll go through and uh, I'll paint the bracket here and then the bracket that holds the throttle cable. Paint the igniter. Uh, we'll do something about these covers too because we don't want to send them out all chipped up. And uh, I got these strut towers to work on too. Um, but we'll go through all that. Heavy. What's so heavy? But I got the center cover, front timing cover, the igniter, two brackets to hold the radiator for the throttle cable, throttle cable, and then your cam position sensor. So, or cam angle sensor. I'm sorry. I apologize. So, what I'm going to do is uh, tape everything up, get it all prepped up, and then uh, we're going to prime it and spray it. So we got a guy that's going to sell his Mustang and buy a Supra. Not a bad idea. The thing is, I would have to trade that in or sell it before I have to buy that. So yeah. Just keep your eyes out. Keep on the looking at the log yeah. and everything. That's where you'll see the cars first. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. We get them off the trail. Yeah, I saw that video yep. last night. Yeah. So. Guys, check this thing out here. Mm, mm, mm. I'm all fired up, man. Show the people what you're working with. Same. But these Mustangs right here, I think, look really good. Right. If you look at the back, it's almost super-ish. Right. Right back there. Look at that. Ducktail. Yeah, it's a ducktail. I do love it. Cool. This thing is really cool. It is. Nice. Like I said, just uh, watch the vlog. See when we have a super that you know piques your interest. Yeah. And you come see us. And if you buy a you know automatic. Alright, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you too. Alright, guys, tomorrow, uh, some of the Driver Motorsports crew is going to be at uh, the Spirit JP Drift Series. I think it's called Spirit of the Wolf. We're going to take ton, tons of merch. We're going to have hats. We're going to have shirts. We're going to have hoodies. So make sure you guys come check us out. So we're just going to pack up a bunch of stuff now in the SEMA. Oh, the SEMA. We're taking the SEMA as well. Yeah. We're taking this bad boy. So if you see this, please come over and say what's up. We're just going to pack this stuff up now. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.